Hello, 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 my friends. How are we doing today? How are we doing on this lovely Wednesday? Oh, it's good to see you all out here. Hello, hello. Good to see you. What's going on, everybody? How are we doing? Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Happy holiday season. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a good week so far. We're halfway through. If you're not having a good week, we're halfway through. It's going to be great. <laughs> Hello, hi, how we doing? Aether Games, what's going on? Armip, how you doing? Nekri, how you doing? Abel, what's going on? Yes, English only in the chat. If you can, my friends, please, please, please help me and the mods keep this a safe space for everybody. We really do appreciate the support and helping us keep it that way. Eggs, sup, sup, how you doing? Ties, what's going on? Hi, hi, hi. We got Dictator Gaming, love from India. Hi, how you doing? What time is it over there for you? It's, it's got to be like middle of the night? in the future <laughs> i think i don't know uh break thy will what's going on kyra how you doing halfway nothing it's my saturday Ooh, nice 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 uh how's how are you doing i'm doing good how are you doing metro cat i didn't recognize you new profile picture what is that that's a new profile picture nice little avatar in there tiana what you how you doing what's going on we got on Oz. Anna's we got Jennifer we got Dylan what's going on Anton hello hello we got rise why are these notifications not popping up so I've realized I think I think I've got it this chat box right here because it's getting busted is delaying the rest of the alerts so I'm actually deleting it for a bit because it's just so broken I don't know what's going on I meant to delete it here and I forgot to um but that's that's how we're doing rise thank you so very much rise stewart thank you so much for becoming a member i really do appreciate that kayla thank you so very much for the two months i really do appreciate that as well hello 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 i don't know why those aren't showing up alert box pleased to meet you ah there it goes thank you so very much for being here everybody chaotic william what's going on yeah it was needed hey i get it sometimes we need a refresh it's a good time to do it at the end of the year right start off the new year fresh get some new stuff i don't know it's how it goes it's how it goes Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. So if you didn't see the new pinned message, I decided to roll out a new tier for memberships here on the YouTube side, and it is geared towards the folks. I just want to give a, a comment on it just while it's in there because it's brand new. Um, if you Based are somebody you. who Anna, thank Anima, Anna, Anima, thank you so very much for the 11 months. You are insane. Almost to the one year, my friend. Almost to the one year. Jaws with the eight months. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, Pleased to but meet yeah, you. there is a brand new membership tier out right now, which is geared towards people who are just on the YouTube side. So if you're not in the discords, if you don't want any of the other stuff, you just like being in live streams and like the emotes, uh, there is a brand new membership tier that's a little bit cheaper and a little bit lower. Um, that's just a little bit more affordable for people if you would like it. Uh, that is just geared towards getting a green name in chat, which means that I read the, I read things out a lot more easier because it pops out for me because uh, it stands out against all the gray and white names. Um, yeah, so I did just want to mention that today as we start up the stream. So there is that. Speaking of which, Sammy Carter with the flip supporter. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Jaws, glad to be here. Happy Wednesday, flipper snappers. Oh, there we go. We got Aether Games the four months. Do I stand out? You do. You got a membership. That's that's how you get the green name. Everybody like the stream? Yes, yes, yes. We almost got a thousand people in here and only 330 likes, my friends. I believe we can do it. I believe we can do it. So things have happened. A lot of things have happened. There's been a lot of stuff going on in the Minecrafting worlds. Uh, I've been very, very busy. Nice I'm very happy to say, though, uh, one Aether Games with the four months in. Thank you so very much, my dude. I appreciate it. But into the Minecraft world and we go nice to meet you you get a double you get a you yeah, actually a triple because I read you out before <laughs> uh Wayne's green name is pog green name is pog uh, I need some more rockets so episode 25 got a little delayed for hardcore it right now I have it scheduled to come out on Friday I'm kind of watching things because I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now and if there's a big event I'm going to hold it till Saturday, but as of right now, Friday or Saturday this week, episode 25 will be out for the hardcore world. It's, it's a good one. It's, uh, it's one of those where I watched the video. I got the video back from, uh, my editor Marcos and he did a fantastic job on it. 
and I was watching it and I was like, this is a good video. Sorry, I need to do this because I want this green grass over here. Boop, boop, boop. Um, so I'm really excited to get it out there. I think it's going to be a really, really good one. Uh, and then I'm actually already halfway through recording episode 26. So there's a lot of spoilers in here. So for your spoiler for the day um, that you get for being here early to the stream, episode 26 is right back there. It's a really cool build. I've been working on it. I took like an entire day and a half to plan it. And it's been really, really fun. Perimeter V2. No, 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 no. Uh, spoilers, episode 25. <laughs> Now, episode 25, I decided to take on the challenge to see... I've seen a bunch of other people doing it recently, and I kind of want to do my own spin on it of how much can I do in 24 hours in a hardcore Minecraft world. So there there, there you go. That is uh, episode 25 is... I should have done 25 hours now that I'm thinking about it just for the pun to, to incorporate you. the episode number into the video title, but 24 hours rolls off the tongue a little bit better. Um, so yeah what i could build in 24 hours literally just like straight building 24 hours seeing what i can get done and it turned out really cool i'm really happy with how a lot of it looks um so first up today i need to go throw these shulker boxes back because they've uh they're a little rough they're a little rough how did you find episode 24 um the the perimeter is what we did in episode 24 and that was uh pain <laughs> to put it simply that was pain uh, I, I'm never digging a nether perimeter again this year because I probably will do it again at some point and then y'all are going to be like fuck you say never do it again and then I'm going to be like ha ha um, anyways what I would like to do now just to get started today well we're I'm still kind of waking up over here I'll be honest uh, but I need the silk touch hoe and I need a bunch of oak leaves because I keep running out That's not the shulker. I want to put back. This is the one I want to fill with oak leaves Also, I lost my bed. So we've moved on to a purple bed My my travel bed has went from yellow bed to orange bed to pink bed and now to purple bed I'm still amazed that I've only lost four beds Three beds four beds. I don't know This entire hardcore series but holy cow, who the heck was that? Sam Golden with the 10 gifted memberships. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Elise with the four months. Love your videos, Flip. They make my day. I also love sitting in on your lives. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we've got to fly off a little ways because I want to just start choppy chopping a bunch of trees down. And we'll see how it goes. Do you have any tips for making videos, growing a channel? Honestly, just do what you love. That's the biggest thing. Find something that you love that you can keep doing because I, I've been talking to a few people about it recently. Um, Sam, thank you so very much again. I really do appreciate that. But the biggest way f to like not grow your channel and to really just is to hate what you're doing. If you hate what you're doing, your audience is going to tell. So find something you love and find a way to do that your own way. That makes it a little unique against what everybody else is doing. I love this random little patch of ice. <laughs> okay, uh, where can I find a bunch of oak leaves to tear down? I think we just like start chopping trees in here. We can just, huh? I'm trying to think of something that I don't plan on building, but also just will probably hey, not care that hey, it's ugly. Edward, Let's start going up this way. Stream. What you been up to so far? Uh, so far, we literally just got in here and said hellos. Uh, this is the first thing. Chopping oak leaves. <laughs> but that's okay. We're doing it. This has been something I've been needing to do for a very long time, and I just never got around to it. So we're just going to gather some oak logs, get some oak leaves, and I don't think we'll fill the entire shulker, because that sounds like a half hour of pain. Um... Uh, just to get it all done, but we'll try and do some. We'll get like half of the shulker filled, probably. Enough that I don't have to worry about it for the next little while, because I want to build some custom trees, and I also want to use oak leaves for field borders and things like that, so I need a lot of them. I've been I've been using a lot in this world. Be sure to replant. Now, I kind of like the idea of extending the river valley out here and just not having trees. I think it would look okay. Also, then we have to worry about getting saplings and ugh. Mining leaves is sometimes satisfying. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
It's a, it's a good bit. It's a good bit. Y'all, I'll be honest. Uh, I've been absolutely obsessed with playing World of Warcraft recently. <laughs> and I promise not to talk about it this entire stream like I did last stream. But, oh my gosh, I've been having way too much fun. It's been really nice having just something to chill and hang out with for a while. So that's been nice. I guess fun story here. Uh, I If y'all follow me on Twitter, you saw that I was out for the weekend uh, celebrating a family wedding. Uh, my mom got remarried. My mom got married over the weekend. So that was very exciting. Got to celebrate with the family, hang out with everybody, and uh, just chill with a, and grow in the family bunch, which was really, really nice. So a lot of lovely people and good times and good company over the weekend. So I was a little slow getting started on Sunday and Monday was also a very slow day because I just was a little uh, tired from the weekend. Let's say that, <laughs> um, but I'm feeling much better now. I got up, I had to take uh, Sid into to the bus this morning cause she had to go into the office today. Uh, so I had to wake up this morning at like 645 and I tried being one of those morning people today who's like, I wake up at 6 a.m. and I get a hundred things done before 8 a.m. And uh, that whoever, if you live that way and you're able to do that, do you just sleep the rest of the day? Cause that's what I'm wanting to do. Normally I'm okay with mornings. I'm more of a morning person than a late night person. I know I'm one of those and it's off. Uh, 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 I'm so, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. What Minecraft day are we on? We are currently on day 2,804. Just ticked over the 2,800. Wow. Hello from the Midwest. Hey, what's, how's it going? Air secret. I think. Nice I don't to know. meet you. 4 a.m. Wake ups every day. Break thy will. You're insane. Uh, Will De, De Croy, thank you so very much. I probably said that wrong. Uh, just join what's been up so far. I think I got you that one so far. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Angel, you know, thank you so very much for the 10 months at tier two. Glad you had a good time off. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Then my mom is uh, off on a honeymoon right now. They're, they're in London right now, and then they're in London for a week, and then they're going to Paris for a week, and I am very jealous. <laughs> Hate leveling mountains. Yeah. Just get a beacon. Get a good movie going. And just chill. That's that's it. That's all you gotta do. Kyer with the five gift memberships. Holy cow. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. Should collab with Farzy. The problem is with like hardcore stuff. Is it's very weird to do like a like Farsi does like all single player stuff. Most of what I do is single player outside of empires. And it's hard to like change from doing single player things to doing multiplayer things when you're a hardcore Minecraft YouTuber. So you can't like invite somebody onto your world because then it kind of ruins the idea of a single player hardcore world where you do it all yourself, you know? Wow. Okay. Maybe we are filling the shulker box real quick because <laughs> we're almost done. <laughs> I thought this was going to take a lot longer. Do you watch World Cup? I have been. I've been watching it less this last little while, which I know is kind of counterintuitive when uh, it's literally going into the finals. Um, but I really, I was rooting for the U.S. just because home, home team. And then after they got knocked out, I started watching less and less. And then I was really rooting for Croatia. Just, I've always, I've never been, but I've always wanted to go to Croatia because I grew up playing water polo. And everybody always talked about how amazing Croatia was for water polo. And then also just like the history in that country of like all the cool castles and things like that. I would love to go check out. So, and then also they're kind of the underdog in the World Cup and they they went so far, but they got, they got destroyed by Argentina. Um, so I haven't really been watching much. I think Morocco's playing right now though. So I'll check that out. Since Tuesday this week though, I, mean, I guess yesterday, I've just had I've just been watching the World of Warcraft race to world first for the new raid tier constantly on Twitch. So <laughs> that's been that's been where I've been living for entertainment recently. 
Greetings from Croatia. Yeah, one day I'm going to make it out there. One day I'm going to make it out there. I think next on the list for us for places we want to go visit, we're going to get out to London so that we can go see all the all the friends out there. And It was really, really awesome showing them where I live. And so I think it'd be really cool to go out there and check out where they live and everything like that. So we're going to make it out there soon and soon-ish. See what's going on. Hello from Brazil. Hey, hey, hey. You love to go to Europe? I mean, it's it's one of those things where if you grow up in the U.S., it's very fantastical, I guess, because it's something you hear about. And in American culture, very much a lot of the movies that you grow up watching show like this very fabulous side of Europe and how fancy it is and everything like that. And uh, just kind of this place to go for like every single travel movie you see in the US is pretty much people going to Europe and living in these amazing places. So it, if you grow up watching that stuff, it does make you want to go there. EU is fancy. Yeah, according to American uh, TV and everything like that, EU is very fancy. Or there's heists happening everywhere. That Those are the two sides of Europe you see when you watch American TV. At least stuff based around present time. We in Europe have the same with the US. Yeah, I'm sure it's the same idea as far as like how you all view California. Because so much of media shows California as this just absolutely amazing, perfect place where there's sunshine and rainbows and... Uh, just everything is beautiful everywhere and then you get there and you're like oh it's actually just traffic and smells like cows got it okay and there's smog everywhere great okay so this is california <laughs> it's still fun i went to college in california and then sid's family is from california so we make it down there fairly often we're probably down there at least once a year just visiting family and everything like that and uh, it's it's nice to be there. It's I I get the I get the idea of wanting to live there because the weather is always very nice, for the most part. So, LA does have a smell to it. It is true. We, <laughs> since family lives in the LA area, and we specifically never go into LA itself. <laughs> Some of the outer areas, sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah but never, never inside. Love that smell though. Yeah, it's a little, if you grew up there, I get it. Okay, let's sleep now. Perfect. Live in California, my town is usually foggy and cold. Yeah, that's true too. Okay, here we go. That is apparently a full shulker box of oak leaves. You can barely tell we're here. Perfect. Love your building style and both empires and hardcore. Any tips? Um, I'm really liking building with contrast right now. I, that's something that I've really, I've been trying to work in more color and more contrast. And that's been a fun challenge for me. And it's helped me learn a lot. So I think challenging yourself to do something new in Minecraft is the best way to like get better at building per se. But like also in reality, it's just like practice. <laughs> I guess that goes along with challenging yourself is also practicing, so. The same way people improve at any sort of artistic skill, music, drawing, painting, whatever it is, like studying. Studying is the way to get better. Uh, da -da -da -bup, bup, bup, bup. Cool. How are we doing on logs? We have no jungle. I have and no mangroves and none of these so i really want to soon build a tree farm for the nether woods because i can't be bothered to gather on them and i love them uh so i need to set that up soon but for the jungle let's go gather some because i could also use some jungle leaves it might just be a little bit of a gather session for a bit we're only 20 minutes in we already got one shulker box so let's do it those are full those are no sh what happened to all my shulker boxes? Do I only have one shell left? What happened to all my shulker shells? My shulker monster has grown to. Okay, we have. Okay, yep. Never mind. False alarm. False alarm. 
We have backup. We're fine. <laughs> I was really worried there. I was like, do I have to go end rating? Oh, God. Okay, I guess I have to go end rating soon. How far is your city? Uh, I haven't done any major building on it since the last episode building up the whole first section. I'll be honest. Um, so it's still back there, but I'm working on a big focal point for the first neighborhood right now. The first neighborhood, you probably got a little glimpse of it right there fading away. We saw the sugar monster outside of your house for shame. <laughs> so I, I'm doing this little thing since we're on Hermitcraft right now for empires. And it's just been a cool thing to chat with everybody on there about their builds. So I've been talking with a few of the hermits and kind of touring around their bases. And while I was touring around Pearl's base, she instantly just like, which I'm going to upload these to my second channel, by the way. So I'm going to do little base tours of the Hermitcraft bases on my second channel. I just thought it'd be a fun way to get some content uh, for this collab. I'm going to get them up soon. I just, I'll be honest, I just haven't been very interested in logging in over there. Um, it just, I've just been busy and I kind of am preferring to play hardcore right now. I'm preferring to either play hardcore or not play Minecraft right now. I, I will be honest, I'm a little burned out, but that's okay. I, I think if it, it's a, just a, it's the time of the year, everything's so busy, so I'm okay with it. But my friends, if you have not already, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. We have 1,600 people in here and we are below 700 likes. So any support you can give, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's absolutely free way to support the stream and it helps out a lot more than you could ever know. What is Hermitcraft? It's a big SMP series, uh, server, survival multiplayer. A lot of content creators on it. Uh, it's the people we're collabing with right now from Empires. Any tips for hardcore Minecraft? I mean, take it slow. The best thing you can do in hardcore Minecraft is uh, don't put yourself in a position to die. <laughs> Which the easiest way to do that is take it slow. A lot of people who die in hardcore just get comfortable. Like a lot of creators that die in their hardcore world just get comfortable and they run in guns blazing and uh, get bit on the bum pretty quick. Oh, can we do it? We're almost at a thousand likes. We're almost there. Can we do it? 70 away. We missed your shenanigans on Empire Stormcraft. Yeah, there's a, there will be a video out this week. I chatted with Marcos right be before starting stream today. He said he'd have the edit back to me by the end of the day today. And if he does, I might post it tomorrow. But I think there's a little event happening tomorrow on the server. There were plans to, so I don't think it's bad that I'm talking about it. There were plans to do a live stream day, kind of like we did the Empire's live stream day when they were on our side. Um... But people are just super busy right now, so I don't know who else is going to make it. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Uh, but there might be a bunch of people live tomorrow from the server. I don't know. Okay, let's get these leaves because I kind of want those too. A mega fan? Killer! Holy cow, thank you so very much, my dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, where was I getting leaves? Leaves. Holy cow, my dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the support, everybody. Y'all are absolutely amazing. It has been... Uh, I've been kind of reflecting a bit recently. I, I saw somebody in chat talked about it, or asked about it, about like how my year went and what plans are for next year. Uh, question. Would you all be interested, if I were to do kind of like a more simple, just talky video and putting some things on screen... Would you be interested in like a 2020 year in review video type thing of just my channel? Of just kind of a reflection of what I've done this year and kind of how I thought things went. 1k likes. We did it. It's possible. Yes. 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 Okay. I might. Wouldn't mind. Yes. Okay. Because I was thinking about it. There's been a lot of stuff this year that I had kind of forgotten about. It's been a, been a, heck, of a, year, a heck of a year, my friends. Because uh, we started out... Sounds Flip 2 content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's my idea. Dash my thought. Uh, but we started out this year... 
in January is when I swapped to streaming on YouTube. So this has been my first year live streaming on YouTube instead of on Twitch. Empire season one ended about back then. I think we ended in February, if I remember correctly. Um, and then after that, we started up Afterlife. Oh, geez, what did I do? Which I was like, I kind of forgot Afterlife was even a thing. I forgot about that series or I, I didn't forget about it, but I was like, that was this year? <laughs> like, it seems like it was forever ago. Uh, this hardcore series is officially a year old, by the way. I've survived a year in hardcore Minecraft. I know, it's amazing. Uh, so I was like, that's kind of cool. That's pretty fun. And then we're just going to put those in there. So that this series got kicked off this year, which is for a little a, a year ago. If we think into like 365 days being going back to December. And then so Please after life go. ended that went on, um, we did a few MCCs this year. We did all that stuff. And then moving into Empire Season 2, which has been insane. And then also all of the stuff of setting up. One, getting married. Very, that was a big thing. <laughs> a big element of the year for me. Um, and then two, from like a work side, setting up the entire collab with Hermitcraft. Like that in itself was a beast of a project. And then also just like crazy channel growth, hitting a million subs this year. I think we started last the I think 2022 started at about 800,000 subs, which is absurd to have gained 500,000 subs this year alone. It's just one of those things that like when I start thinking about it more, the more it puts it in perspective where I've where I started to where I am and I'm just very thankful for it. But it's been it's been it's been a crazy year. On multiplayer hardcore world. So those are fun. But then the second one of the people dies, because if you remember hardcore season one was multiplayer hardcore season one was hashtag not an not an smp uh where joel and i started a hardcore world together because we both started series at the same time and we we're like it could be kind of fun to do it at on the same world so we did based like 2000 blocks apart and then um jimmy joined scott joined and cpk joined and it just kind of turned into one of those where unfortunately Jimmy died really early. And then Scott, I think died or he just was like, eh, I'm not feeling it. So I'm done. And then it was just me and Joel because CPK got really busy with other stuff. So he wasn't playing much either. I think he got his dream SMP. No, no, that's more recent. Um, Cause this was a while ago. He got invited to some server and started playing on that more. Uh, might've been Vault Hunters. I don't remember. I don't think it was that long ago, but yeah. And so it turned into just me and Joel being on there, which was the original plan. So that kind of works out. And then Joel died and I was like, wait, I'm alone. Like the whole point of this was to like interact with people, do hardcore stuff and kind of like have some fun and seeing how far we can make it. And then I was like, I'm alone. Like it's, it's just me again. So that was something I learned that like a hardcore series is only going to work if you have like multiple lives i guess is an easy way to think about it like x life that was kind of hardcore because we had 10 lives so stuff like that can work if you do a twist on it same with afterlife 10 lives so i think that will be any way of doing like a hardcore multiplayer series i could see like a fun 100 days series with multiple people and then you're like on day 15 mythical sausage died fighting a skeleton and it was only the rest of us left but then it just kind of makes content difficult for everybody because everybody either has the same content or everybody is taking so much time out of their day to be there for one person's video like we very much work as a team of like people are like hey i had an idea for a video i'm doing on my channel would you want to come be a guest and a lot of times in our crew, we're just like, yeah, sure. Why not? Like, I got free time. Let's do it. And so we help each other out by just helping each other, like, make content for their channels. But we do something big like that. Like, a 100 days series is 18 hours minimum. So, I don't know. It'd be interesting.
Will you upload a video of Minecraft challenge? I don't know what that is. I will say one thing I'm really interested in doing right now is the create series. Like a create mod series would be really, really fun. I really enjoy that. Create mod looks really interesting. Just the fact that you can make things move. I'd very much play it like B-dubs plays it where it's just for aesthetics. Like I don't care about maxing out power or leveling things up to get faster production. Like it just right. doesn't matter to me. Hot quiz time. How many rings were made by the greater arc and how many survived after the initial failed firing of the array along with what their I names have are? no idea dude your halo knowledge is far beyond mine <laughs> i have absolutely no idea you got me there i, I don't even know i don't even know where to start guessing for some reason i want to say it's in the teens but i could be wrong How to download Minecraft, minecraft.net. Purchase game. Or if you're on mobile, go to the app store, purchase app. Click download. My top 10 buildings in 2022. That's actually an interesting idea. I, I might I might hit you up, but it might be a good idea. That could be fun. Because there's a lot of cool stuff that we built so far. Especially in this world. I'd have to go find some old cinematic footage, which I think I still do have of Afterlife. I don't have the world download. Actually, you know what? Lizzie has the world. I could get the Afterlife world download and go look at stuff from Lizzie. I know she has it. Do we fill up the box? Close enough. I was mostly here for jungle logs anyways. I've been loving jungle wood recently. I don't know about y'all, but jungle wood is actually like one of my favorite blocks right now. Strip jungle logs, especially, but jungle planks themselves, I'm really, really loving. And the trap doors. Woo. I used to hate the block, now I'm obsessed with it. 12. Ah, oh, I was so close. I was so close. I was I was thinking I wanted to say 13, but you know, uh -uh. It's so real. Close. After the failed firing of the Halo array. ODST, thank you so very much for the donos. I really appreciate it, my dude. Location of Halo Infinite and was fired along with six smaller rings built by the lesser rock. But no, there's your halo fact for the day, everybody. <laughs> if you want to go watch another creator and they're live right now, you don't need to be in my chat telling me that they're live. I know. I know, my friends. I, I, I know what my friends are up to. Don't you worry. And you can go watch them if you'd like to. No hard feelings. But if you're chilling in here, be sure to leave a like on the stream. Because we're at almost, we just passed 1,100 likes. Aha. Number go up. Mary Louise with the five gift memberships. Holy cow. Thank you so very much for that. Can I play Empires? Empire Season 1 world download is still available if you'd like to check it out on there. Uh, season 2 is not, ex we're not accepting any people right now. Uh, it's invite only, anyways. Um, and there probably will be a world download at the end of the season if you'd like it to play on it yourself. Cha ching! Okay. All right, there we go. That's, uh, let's see, how many stacks are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight. That's fine. that went out to pudding pudding soup danny tannevel alvin and lego neon hey thank you all so very much for the support and being here <clears throat> if you didn't know gifted memberships on youtube work a little differently than they do on twitch which is actually really cool to me uh, because a gifted membership on youtube goes to somebody in the chat who has the highest watch time at least that's how it originally did i don't know if that's what they stuck it to or not 
But so if you get a gifted membership in here, it's actually because you've been watching the stream for a really long time and been supporting enough to like be one of the higher people in the current in the stream currently, which I think is really cool. What am I drinking? White Claw. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Celsius. Could you imagine if I was just over here pounding a White Claw at 10 a.m. in the morning? Might have been doing that on Saturday, but that was a day of celebration. <laughs> Wait, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on YouTube, the more you watch a streamer, the or the more you watch a channel when it's live, the higher chance you have of getting a gifted membership. So if you want to get a gift membership, you just leave somebody's stream on idle and you'll get there. Hey, for real. Is the mod somewhere. pack for afterlife ever going public? No. Uh, so we don't release any mod packs that we use publicly because hey, technically we it's 5 PM don't have in the permission world. to. Um, so with licensing and everything like that, if we were to release a mod pack being like, this is the mod pack we used, here are all the mods that we used, and like redistributed it in a different way, we could actually get in trouble, which is why we don't. Like the mod pack author could be like, hey, that's mine. I didn't give you permission to redistribute it. And they could copyright us. So for simplicity's sake, on our side, to keep it very simple, we just don't. Um, but usually their fans figure out the mod list and assemble it themselves. So you can find something like that if you really want to take a look. Uh, but unfortunately, we will. We don't. We will not be. Okay, there's that. I don't think I need the hoe anymore. Okay, so something I was kind of thinking recently, which I think would be cool, and I want to get all your opinion on it, okay? Chat, I need your help here. Hey, Coding Gamer, how you doing? It's Water from Discord. What's up, my dude? How you doing today? Hope the video edits are going well. Um, but yeah, so a thought that I had, we can jump up to the tree. We need a look. We need to do a look. We're doing a look. This mountain over here, we're too tall. We're too high. We're far too high. We need to do a look from here. Nope, nope. We need to do a look from down here. It's just still too high. Still too high. The spot that I really love the angle from is like right over here. Okay, so this mountain, I think it looks really cool, but I, I'm inspired to like elongate it. So taking this peak up and like sharpening it a little bit higher and keeping that shape to it and bringing it down. And you'll see in the video coming later, the 24 hours builds of like kind of where I want to take it. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that. And then we like take out all these spruce trees hey, and do custom hey, trees water from Discord. similar to Wait how we did hand. those in the birch forest and basically just transform the whole top of the mountain. Hey, do we think that's insane or do we Love think it's sane enough for me to tackle or not so insane that I can't do. I did dig a perimeter in one video. So yeah, there's that. Um, yes, no. What do we think? Also this view with the sunset, a beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a beaut. Mary Louise, thank you so much for the dono. It's been snowed all day. Love your videos. Hey, very cool. Very cool. Yes, do it. Yas. Yas. Hey, cool, but it'll take a long time. I think that's okay, though. I think that's totally fine, though. That's A-OK -okay with me. I need to do a little sleepies. I think you used to do mountains, so go ahead. Yeah, exactly. 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 Be extra. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. That'll be something I think we tackle in the new year. Because this project here... Ha, ah, spoiler. Look, it's a clock. It's always 3 p.m. in this world. Or is it? I don't know. That dude, I want to move into an airship, by the way. This guy all the way up here, if you didn't know. Hey, for real. <laughs> Be extra. This is my star trader. <laughs> hey, buddy. He's just lived up here with a loyalty to book trade since I traded with him. <laughs> like... What was that? Like episode 14 where I got all the advancements in like 117. Um, which I think. We still have the deep dark ones left to do. 
Yeah, I still got to go to the deep dark and do those. But everything else I still have, which is kind of fun. Oh. Pleased to meet you. Do I have to string this entire tree? Oh no. Hey, for real. Yeah, that's going to be a pain. <laughs> it's going to be a big pain in the butt. Because I also want to extend these leaves out farther. Now. You could liken it. I don't think that would work out too well. Also, I know this is a big mountain, but like, I'm not building it from scratch. Like, I'm basically just building the top. Like, I'm going to extend that up taller. We won't tackle this one. That one comes up. This one comes up and a little redo on it. And that it's just the trees along here. And the trees along here. Because I'll probably just like... I'll do a few over here, but I'll get rid of them. Most likely. Leave that way, it looks good. It transitions with the snow. I just... You see that like white line in there? That like stutters in and out as you're getting closer. Of like the snow layers coming in. I hate that. It is one of my least favorite features of Minecraft is when you're looking like at the same level of snow. I, I hate it. I can't stand it. So I either need to double layer things and smooth them or just get rid of it. Like there, those little white lines, I can't stand hey, it. For real. I hate it. Every out all day, so it's nice to come in to live. New emojis, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, Profit Slot, thank you so much for the dono. Liz the Source with the 11 months. I thought that one came there earlier today. No, that was Anima. Okay, thank you so very much, Liz. How are you doing today? Hope hope the holiday season is going well with the little one. Uh, Mary Louise, thank you so very much for the dono. Every every out all day, it's so nice to come into live. Hey. We live. We live. We're very live. Afterlife World download with no mods. Uh, it would literally be blank. <laughs> you might have some floating dirt. That'd be about it, because it was even all custom stone types and everything. You would have nothing in there. Pleased to meet you. And eggs with the 11 months. Thank you so very much, my dude. I appreciate that. What's your least favorite build in this world? The guardian farm, because I didn't finish it. That's that's my cop out answer. <laughs> Actually, I really like most builds I've done in this world, but the Guardian Farm because I haven't finished it is definitely number one. Can't wait for next month when so many people just have full grown trees. For those who are new, the little membership badge is a tree sapling and the more months you have, the more tree you have, which is pretty exciting. Um the bigger the tree will get okay i would like to take some of the oak leaves that we just got actually no i want to take some of the jungle and what i'm thinking is this little tree that we built down here i absolutely love him this guy y'all might remember we built this on a stream a while ago it's been a few months what type of candles magenta candles oh no i missed I goofed so annoying so annoying placing candles on leaves but this is meant to look like a little um like flowers like blossoming flowers on the top and so i love this guy he's amazing and what i'm thinking is we replace that oak tree right there move it a little bit higher on the ledge and build another one so for this we just need a lot of spruce thank you coin some glow lichen hey mr flip i have a funny question do you use audacity whilst recording for your voice or do you no. just use OBS to record your I just voice? use OBS, to be honest. Uh, Red Shake, thanks so much for the donut, though. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I just use OBS. Audacity, I know a lot of people use it, but I find OBS is fine. I, I don't... I, I find OBS works totally fine. Okay, so we need glowberries, which I can get. We can get some globberries. Uh, jungle leaves, easy. Do I have spruce? Globberries. Flubberies. 
Um, glow lichen. I think I'm out, so I need to go make some real quick. Or I might have some at the storage room. Ow. Put some green candles in the magenta one so it shows blossoms in various stages. Break that will. That's a good idea. Athena's cool trick. Yeah, yeah. I learned it from Vigo Man. Vigo Man is a Minecraft builder who is absolutely so very talented. Um, I picked it up from him. I wish I could claim it as my own, but nope. Uh, what am I looking for? We also need a Wither Rose field soon. What was I in here looking for? Oh, Glow Lichen. I thought I might have some. I guess not. I know where we can get some real quick. Uh, shears. Alright, chat. While we're getting Glow Lichen, I need you all to give me ideas for names for the shears. The shears do not have a name, but they've been with us for a very long time. So if you have an idea for a name for the shears, let me know. I need help. Oh, we're already loaded. Ed Sheeran. See, that's that's a good one, but I know that's a pearl one. I know that's a good, that's a pearl one. Which doesn't mean it's a bad one, but we know it's already in use. Joey Chop Chop. Shearsley. <laughs> snip Snip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My one on Empires was the Goblin Hair Clippers. Hair Trimmers. Shearishly Hardcore. Wait, I kind of like that one, Bella. <laughs> How we got... Oh my gosh, that's so much. I love this farm, by the way. It is so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's the best Kalo Lycan farm ever. Seriously, hardcore, I think, is, uh, I think you're winning. Whipper snippers? Mm hmm. They need a sheerish name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Snippity snippers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. The lichen schnips? <laughs> Call them lichen schnips. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. Uh, team No Tree Leaves. There we go. There we go. I, I think it's seriously hardcore. I think seriously hardcore. Is that how we spell it? Is that? Uh, let me see. Let me, where? How do they spell it? I want to make sure I'm spelling it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think seriously hardcore is the best option we have <laughs> that I'm seeing right now. Let's do that. All right, and then where can I get a bunch of spruce? There's a little spruce in there. We can go pick up some. Quit YouTube? Uh, no. No thanks. I'll pass. I'll pass. I'm having fun. Actually, actually, I I get a certain amount of joy out of this, and if that upsets you that I find joy in doing something that causes no harm whatsoever to anybody around the world, I do apologize. But you know, um, grow up. It's kind of the solution right there. But that's fine. Okay, let's get some spruce fences. Uh, and then we're going to need a lot of these guys where I probably want to just do something like that. Sassy, I mean, if you're throwing a punch, I'm going to throw a punch back. <laughs> you can't. It's, uh... I do find it funny how much people expect content creators just to like put up with with the mess that is their Twitch chat or any form of chat. I mostly say Twitch chat because Twitch is usually awful. Um, and then the second a YouTuber just like, or a creator just claps back a little bit. Everybody's like, whoa, hold up there, buddy. Like, what are you doing? And it's just like, really, really, really. <laughs> you, you're inspiring me to become a YouTuber. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. Best thing I can say for anybody ever who wants to do YouTube is give six months. Put six months in, commit to it for six months, and see if you actually want to do it. Because I can tell you that I have a lot of friends who were like, wow, that's so cool that you're doing YouTube, Flip. Like, wow, how can I? Like, IRL friends uh, that don't call me Flip. But for simplicity's sake, we'll say that. Um, 
they're like how can i get into doing youtube that seems really cool that you just like get a chill and do your own stuff and work on minecraft builds like i'd love to do that and then they try it they get like three months in and they're like this sucks <laughs> i'm just like i don't know what to tell you and then also they're at that point and then they've dropped like six hundred dollars on a microphone they've upgraded their computer for like two grand and then they bought all this editing software and all this stuff and they're just like sitting on it out so much money i'm like with whatever your setup is that you have make videos just make videos edit videos record do all that stuff for six months and then see if you actually want to do it if you don't want to do it that's fine all you're out is a little bit of time and you tried it and then you can always know that you gave it a shot and that it just wasn't for you and that's fine that's totally okay okay we're gonna take this tree down and then we're gonna start building a new better custom tree and then eventually i do want to fix up these cliffs because they ugly but yeah number one most important thing is just try just give something a try if there's no harm to you or anyone around you try it see if you like it whatever it is if you don't like it don't do it what's your name in real life bryce but a lot of people on youtube are like you don't look like a bryce so you should just don't say it and don't ask for my last name <laughs> that's weird We love our sassy Minecrafter though. We do, we do. It's true, it's true. It's how we go. See, anytime I read Bryce though, it just feels weird. I'm just like, who? What? I'm just so used to responding to Flip. <laughs> it was funny when we were uh, hanging out after the wedding, after my wedding, when uh, like Sausage, Jem, Scott, Jimmy, Lizzie, Joel, and all them were still here. We're all hanging out and we we're just like, Everybody still called me Fwip. Everybody still called Sausage Sausage. And everybody still called Gem Gem. And then, of course, the other ones we all know by their first name. So, like, that was kind of what we refer to them in videos is what we were referring to each other, like, when we were chatting in person. And it was so weird <laughs> at first. But then it also felt really natural to, like, just say that instead of, like, what people's actual names were. So it was interesting. It was really, really weird. Because I'd never been in a situation like meeting online friends in person before. Like, obviously, I talk to online friends all day long in voice calls and things like that, whether it's recording or just chatting with, like, friends I play other games with. Which also had a funny uh, th thing, like, two days ago. So I've been getting back into WoW, playing it a lot. And a lot of my friends that I've known for like six, seven years, like since before I started YouTube. Yeah, Moss on Log will happen. Um, don't you worry. But like since a long time before I started uploading YouTube videos, I think I might take this down and flatten it a bit. But we'll do that later. So I won't build the tree up here. But we'll build the tree down along the edge here. Uh, but yeah, so I've been reconnecting with a lot of old friends who are just playing games and doing the same stuff I'm doing. So it's really easy to hang out with them. And a few of them, like I re I was like, oh, you didn't know that I've started like uploading YouTube videos. <laughs> like that was not something that ever came up in conversation. And now we're like reconnecting and they're like, you're doing what? <laughs> it's been really entertaining. Pleased to meet you. Uh, we're going to do a little like a boop. Oh, oh, oh geez because me as a person before i started youtube i was much more shy than i am now i have very much uh opened up as a person because it's just like it's kind of part of what you do as an online creator me. especially when i'm like rec in recording mode and things like that i feel like i'm very much like Actually, I feel like it's anytime I'm talking to people on the internet. I'm very much in recording mode. And it's something that is just like seeped into any form of conversation. If I'm just hanging out in a Discord call with some friends, I'm just very much into like 
talking. <laughs> I get like anxious now if there's dead space because I'm like, if it's a recording and there's dead space, it's not useful footage. Ah! <laughs> I'm just like, nope, don't be dumb. It's fine. Okay, let's do this for a little limb here. Nope. I want that back. Those are expensive. Ow. Where does the name Flip come from? Uh, when I used to play, oh geez, uh, games like StarCraft and uh, just like when I first got into online gaming, I wanted a really cool name because I was like 12 or 13. Why am I still falling off everything? Um, and for some reason I thought uh, Whip was cool because I was like, everybody on the leaderboards has these really cool, just simple names that are just super cool. And they're like one word and yeah, it's fun. And then so 12 year old me was like, whip, whip is cool. And then I put that in and somebody had the same idea as me. Pleased to meet you. Already had the name. And I was so sad that I was just like, this is a fail. And there came fail whip. And then when I started YouTube, just cause I've been going by fail whip for so long, I was just like, whip. I don't know. Let's just shorten it. And that's where Flip came from. That's my really interesting story about how I got my YouTube name. I know. It's amazing. Okay, we're going to do a little guy right up here. World Tour. Uh, there's one on the second channel that's fairly up to date. If you want to check it out. I got stuff to build. Good story. I know, yeah. 13 year old me had a great idea and it's just stuck since then. If you check out my second channel, Flip2 TWO, there is a world tour over there you can check out at any time you please. So these are almost like a bonsai tree, is kind of what I've realized. Like, at least the way I'm building them, it's very much like a bonsai tree. So there's that guy. He's just got, like, I think I want to get, like, a... We got these three prongs. Those are kind of going to be one when it's up there. So I kind of want to get a third branching out right over here, I think. Like this. Nope. Pleased to meet you. Uh, it's, it's all going wrong. And then we'll go up another one because that'll offset us from that one's height. And we can do bam. Nice. And this guy can come out to here. Maybe here. Gives us a little extra. Yeah, I think that's okay. Cool. Uh, Princess Maddie, thank you so much for coming to member. I really appreciate it. Also, Tech Kitty with the five months. I really appreciate that. Uh, Skittles and Giggle. Only one Giggle. Many Skittles, but only one Giggle. Uh, thank you so much for the membership. For the four months, actually. For the four months. I really appreciate that. Thank, thank, thank you. I've been watching you for the past three years. You earned my, you, you turn, turn my building from terrible to amazing. All my classmates want to work with me in school and Minecraft education when we have to build stuff. <laughs> there you go, Jackie. There you go. See, whoever said Minecraft building couldn't get you anywhere. Yeah, it makes friends. <laughs> How long you played Minecraft for? I got Minecraft literally when it came out like 10 years ago. Uh, I've been on YouTube for six years, six and a half. Um, and I probably played off and on for about the past eight ish years. So I'm not new. <laughs> I'm not new to the Minecrafting community as much as I wish I was new to it, but hey, I am. Real. Have you played my time at Porsche Sandrock and did you enjoy it? I played Sandrock. I did not play Porsche. Sandrock was fun though. Actually, I really enjoyed Sandrock. It was a good, it was a good game. 
it was fun to mess around on. I had, I really enjoyed it, but I'm waiting for them to finish developing it. And then I think I'll get back into it because I really, really had a good time with it. I just felt like there was a lot of stuff lacking that needed to be there. Like the skill tree wasn't fully fleshed out when I was playing it. And there's just a lot of things that I was like, that really like that's that's what this is it's just a little it was a little buggy but the game itself i had a lot of fun catherine and i actually got really into playing it for a while we were like talking to each other constantly on discord being like look what i just found <laughs> it was really entertaining okay so i need to one sleep two get bone meal three get shears actually let's get leaves on first i was meeting your friends rl it was really fun it's Flynn's birthday. Happy birthday, Flynn. Happy, happy birthday. Sorry I missed the original message in chat, but happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. All right, this is spooky music. We don't need spooky music right now. Okay, how did I do these leaves? I know I did them in a very specific way. Where it kind of was like... Sticking out from the branch. I tried making them very flat, too. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go here. Boop, boop. Ooh, I kind of love. Wait, it's coming out over the waterfall. I didn't think about that at all. Good job, me. Good job. Hi, Mallory. How you doing? How late is it there? Uh, It's 11.15 a.m. It's early. I do the early streams. I used to stream late in the day. And then um, I was just dead for the entire evening. And also it took a lot of time away from like, I, I try and be done working. Pleased to meet you. Around like 536 every night. And when I was streaming beyond that, I was just like, my entire night was spent on a live stream. And then I just like wasn't getting any time to hang out with my now wife, back then girlfriend. Um, so it just, it turned into one of those things where I was like, I want to prioritize my life in the way and like be able to spend time with people around me instead of worrying about like being live super late in the day or trying to get the u.s audience so i was like all right most of my audience is uk based anyway like europe most of my audience is actually european um it's like 60 percent of my audience is from europe so uh, i try and be there for the hours for european people that's a little bit easier for them to watch and then it actually turned into more free time in the evenings for me to hang out with the people i want to hang out with I don't know how people like, uh, honestly, any of the UK folks I play with, like Jimmy starts his stream usually at like six or 7 PM. And I just can't fathom that. That just makes no sense to me. In my brain, that just does not work. Like no part of me wants to be entertaining and or working at 8 PM. <laughs> He streams on average to like 10 p.m. for him. And then he just like hangs out for another two, three hours and goes to bed. I'm like, what? Dude, I'm asleep by 1030 every day. There's no way you'll catch me doing that. Okay, there we go. This will work. Okay, now we gotta leaf it. We must continue leafing. I go to the gym at 22.30, what's that? Is that 10.30? Jeez. Yeah, I'm a morning workout person. So this morning I got up, I took Sid to the... Took her to the bus and came home and got, got a workout in before I got ready for the day. I feel so much better. I've been really bad about it recently and I keep getting in the afternoons and I'm like, 
Why am I grumpy and tired? And then I'm just like, oh, it's because I didn't work out today. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing, if I change up my routine even slightly, I'm just grumpy for the rest of the day. Oh, great. Let's. We're at that stage of being old. <laughs> it's fine it's fine okay let's bring this one down just because it kind of works there really well let's do it right there so it's a little a little wonk we can do another one right here grumpy old man flip dude it's real i get the hangries i big time get the hangries there's sid uh my wife my daughter Psh, do you think i'm not that old I'm not that old. <laughs> no. Kiki, thanks so much for coming a member. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do I have any scaffolding? I know where I can get scaffolding, actually. Any tips for hardcore, pretty experienced player? Honestly, just take it slow. That's the biggest tip I can say is take it slow. You. you can be a little bit more risky after you get totems. Um, if you're one of the people who plays without totems, just be prepared to die to random things. That's what it is. Uh, don't go in ravines. Creepers will drop on you and they will kill you. Do you have a job? Does this not qualify as a job? I think working in entertainment qualifies as a job, but I don't know. Incoming. No, no, I mean a real job. Oh, right. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have to sit behind a desk doing number things instead of uh, being creative. Chat, we all know how these conversations go. They go the same way every single time. <laughs> no, I want that back. Hey, don't knock on us desk drones. No, no, no. That's what you do. I mean, if you enjoy what you do, I think that's great. Like, that is... I know my wife works in marketing, and she very much is like the works in like the corporate tech scene and just absolutely loves what she does and i think it's really cool it's something that it won't it doesn't work for me it's just not something that uh i, I did the corporate life for three years before i was able to go full-time on youtube and i just was not very happy in what i was doing so i'm very thankful in the position i'm at now because i really love what hey, i gotta do every day frogs or turtles I think as long as you enjoy what like what you do every day when you wake up, then that that's what matters. That's the, that's the important part. You don't have to look forward to going to work every day because everybody knows there's some days where the last thing you want to do is work. But as long as you kind of enjoy what you do every day, I think then that's good. That's fantastic. The Empire Season 2 download. Can I go through the rift to Hermitcraft Season 9? No. Movie magic, my friend. Movie magic. Huh. No, I missed. I have two baby rabbits, and I wish you could see them in the snow. I'm in Canada, by the way. Hey, very cool. Adorable. Starting my third hardcore world of the day. Oh no! It's a rough day, my friend. It's a rough day. Hey, how's this look? I feel like the back one is gross, but lore and leg are real in both servers. Exactly. I think as we bring that out this way a little bit, that'll be actually be really good. I'm liking this. Now, I'm not liking that. Okay, what the heck do I do with all these turtles? Can anybody tell me? Do I just give them like a like a little cave here in the wall and shove the turtles back in their own private turtle pond? Where only the turtliest turtles can go? 
to be members of the Turtle Club. Who gets that reference? I'm showing my age again. <laughs> Yeah, a cute turtle cave. I think we can do that. Name a turtle bag. Do you have kids? No. I have two dogs. That's enough. I can barely take care of them. Master of disguise. Somebody got it. <laughs> and somebody else is like, I feel old. So I'm assuming you also got it. <laughs> that was a movie that I only watched a few times as a kid. That was even a little early for me. I don't even remember when that came out, to be honest. Why can't you place scaffolding on leaves? I'm angry. Just want to place a stupid scaffolding block on a stupid leaf block. And place a stupid candle on a stupid leaf block. That's my rant. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough on the leaf game. I kind of want it to be angular. Did we just build the tree for the last 30 minutes? Probably, yeah. If you didn't know, tree custom trees do take a little while. To get it done right, you gotta take the time. Where it is? I had bone meal in one of these. I know I saw it earlier. Aha. Uh, no, those are the three things I need. Oh, no. Okay, we're just gonna do a few glowberries hanging and then we will go get some candles. We need some magenta candles, I think, right? Is that, does anybody remember? Was it magenta or purple? We don't need to light both of them. Do you only answer top comments uh, on videos? I try and scroll, usually I'll scroll through like a few hours after the video goes live and I'll answer and reply to things. Um, and those I will reply to as many as I can that aren't that answering the same thing over and over again. Um, and then on here, I just kind of, whenever I have a free moment, I try and reply to something. So if I miss yours and don't catch yours, I do apologize, but there are nearly 2000 people in here. So it, there's a lot of people talking. I love that song, but it's so quiet and long. It's like nine minutes. Can't do it. This one, much different. Okay, so there's that done. Glow lichen we already have on the tree too. Do I put buttons over there? I feel like some jungle buttons could be kind of fun. Do I have jungle wood? Jungle wood. Three jungle buttons. Just like a bam. A, oh, I keep breaking the tall grass here. Do one like right there. Then we'll put one on the far side. Fly by button. Don't forget to like the stream. We're almost equal likes to viewers. Anything is possible. Okay, there's that all put back. And there's these guys put back, perfect. Let's go get some candles. Actually, I probably need a stack of these still. Pleased to meet you. Uh, 
boop. Jillian, thanks so much for coming a member. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, Jersey, thank you so very much for the dono. Frogs or turtles? Uh -huh. Minecraft-wise, frogs. Actual-wise, turtles. IRL-wise, turtles. <laughs> but Minecraft frogs are just better. They're much, much better. You do a different candle for some variation. What if we do magenta and a few pink? Get like a cherry blossom something or another going on. We got purple dye, but I don't think that'll work. Magenta dye is from lilacs, right? And then pink dye comes from... Well, red and white dye, so we can do that off some roses. Yep. Thanks for zombies music. I know, it's so good. Let's do that. And then this, we can do bam, 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 bam. Go get some honeycomb. Ooh, doo -doo. We zooming around the world. I really need to clean up that farm. I need to expand the storage on it. It's so over the top. One rockets. We might need to go get string. Just kidding, we have string. I do that and then I die. I die. Okay. That should be enough. No, because we're going to stack them multiple times. Not enough. Magenta. Yeah. And then, uh, da, da. Let's do that. Okay. That, that should be more than enough. And then in here, we just need to grab a few pieces of dirt so we can place down and then place candle on top. And place leaf back after. You know what? This right here is a kind of a weird gap. Okay. Uh, let's get started, I guess. We'll just do this. Oop, boop, boop, boop. I think doing only one is not bright enough, so I want to at least do two or three for each, and then we'll be fine. Can I ask you a question? What's a good username for an animal lover? I mean, it's you got to you got to pick your own username. That is, some, I don't think anybody else can decide what yours is for you because you'll probably want to change it later. You know, so figure out something that you like. Pick an animal you like. Pick an adjective that might represent you or the animal you enjoy and go for it. Okay, so we're doing this. Boop, boop. Nope, leaf go back. Cool. Do another down in here. Bam. I think y'all are right on adding a little bit of the pink in. I think it's going to be a good touch. Or just, y'all said different color. I said pink. Uh, but I don't know what color y'all were thinking. But I think uh, the pink is looking good. Hopefully it's not too busy. But I think it'll be nice. Catch it? Nope, no, nope, not catching it. Okay, that's fine. Didn't want it back anyways. Or that one. Didn't want that back either. 
maybe floating ones would look good that'd be a little too magical for what i want it could be kind of like if you want to do like a falling cherry blossom tree i could definitely see doing some sort of like floating candle as if they're leaves nice it's a good idea you should you should try that one out christian mcdonald thanks so much for becoming a member i really do appreciate that at the brand new swip supporter tier thank you thank you thank you appreciate that okay how are we feeling on this i think we definitely need some more up there because we haven't done any but that tree is probably pretty good does it feel like really oh it is a little too balanced so i think we go in here do another one of those I re was really getting into alternating them when I probably should not be. It's like here, you do a little patch of pink ones. Maybe this guy too. Put leaf back and then break support dirt. I wonder if they'll ever change it so you can place candles on leaves. World Cup. It, there, There is a World Cup happening right now. That is true. I'm going to probably watch the highlights of the game later today. So uh, no spoilers. Thanks. I don't get it when like you can make a candle float. Like, you can have floating candles. You just have to place a supporting block under them to then place on top. But, like, why can't you just make one float to begin with? Why? I don't get it. Moss on log. Moss on log. Moss on log can come up now. It's probably, it's probably a good time for some moss on log. Put different candles together. That would be cool. That would be cool. Do you want to know what I also want to go get? Not that. That. I want to. I want to fly up here. But what I had done underneath the other tree was like randomly putting in some warped stuff. I also have warped sprouts in here. I think. So I want to be breaking up all of this stone a little bit more. Or all the, like, the dirt with some stone and like different colored things. I think this is a good start. It's not the end goal of what I want, but it's it's a good way to get there. Step one. I'm just adding a little bit more color into this world. And moss. For the for the OG fans of about six months ago. Moss. Moss. Actually, Moss on log, probably what, four months ago? Have you played Valheim? I played like six, seven hours of it, and it just ah, it wasn't really for me. When's the next hardcore video coming out? Uh, it'll be out Friday or Saturday this weekend. Looks like right now it'll be out Friday. Probably going to be a Hermit Pyres video tomorrow. And then a hardcore video on Friday. Or maybe Saturday, because I don't want to double upload. So maybe I'll do Saturday. I'll do tomorrow and Saturday. How's this tree looking for us? Yeah, that's kind of a fun one. I think the thing I'm missing compared to the original guy 
is that there's space between so like if that branch was a little lower so there's a bit of a disconnect there it would be better because that's what I really loved about this one is like leaf 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 like they're fully separated but I think it works it gives variety to them of like they're still the same species but they're just a little different did you finish the gas cliff you'll have to wait till the next video because maybe maybe a little maybe a little finished Maybe there's a little bit of a build over there. Backdrop is too green. Yeah, we need to really mess up this cliff face. You'll see in the video that I'm putting out. Ooh, Emerald. Um, that I'm like really trying out a new texturing style for stone and things. And I do eventually want to bring that around to like all of the stones in here look whale so like that'll happen maybe that's what we do now is we can tear this guy down a touch uh put you back in here do i have space in this one i do we can put the candles in here and the moss and the regular candles sure Surely hardcore is uh can go in here. When is world tour coming out for this world? Uh there's a little bit of a world tour at the end of tomorrow's of uh, the next video. But for like an actual world tour, there's one a little while ago. I'll probably do another one at episode 30. Because I think that'd be a good point to do a tour. Oh, look at that silhouette. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. That'll be that's an that's part of the next video. Part. I know I said part. Wow. Yeah, World Tour is out on the second channel. Uh to the person who's asked about 15 times now. Um, and I've responded about 15 times. Uh it's on the second channel, but they might have their stream muted. So there's there's always that. Or I'm on mute and I just don't realize it. So uh, if somebody can help me figure it out if I'm muted right now or not muted right now. So. Which I'm do you prefer, Grimlands or the Goblin Cave? Goblin Cave has been a lot more fun. Grimlands was cool. I really enjoyed the Grimlands. Um, but I just, I felt that I was um, not muted. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I am muted. Um, I felt like with the Grimlands, I was very much repeating a style I already knew to play it safe. Um, so I just didn't, I didn't feel like I was exploring that much. Whereas the Goblin is the, the Goblins is something very new for me and I'm having a lot of fun with that. We good, we good, cool. Okay, um, one thing I kind of want to do that'd be a little bit different. If y'all are up for it, this is a little bit of an audible in the stream here, but I've been really wanting to build a windmill, but I need to design one because I want to design one that's fun. Would y'all be up for moving over into a little bit of a creative planning? like jump to the super flat world and do a little creative building. That's kind of what I'm in the mood for right now. Cause I'm not really sure what else I want to be working on in this. Um, Cause my idea here is I want to do windmills looking this way, which I know fantasy wise isn't like lore wise that windmill looks here so maybe we make it so that they all can kind of like be like a pivoting one because that one could definitely pivot so like the wind comes up the valley so we need something that have like windmills being able to rotate I, I want to do like a windmill there I just think it's going to look really cool and then I want to do like another windmill here and then 
like another one. I know this is kind of stupid. Like this is a lot, but I want to have like my, my goal is to somehow fit five windmills in. They're all the same windmill, like the exact same one right up on this ledge. Cause I think it'd be really cool. Um, so I don't, maybe we only do four, actually four would be weird. So maybe it'd be three. Smaller ones like on a farm. Yeah, something more farmy probably. Actually, that looks kind of cool with that. And maybe we do one in front. Like we could do one down in here too. Or we could, because they don't all have to be on that side of the road. So we could have one down here. That could be number five. I like it. The Dutch are invading. The windmills come. Yeah, I'm thinking we do like number five right there. Prime numbers are king. Yeah, uh, when you're looking for, there's your build tip for the day. Uh, one building in odds works, but if you can build on a prime number, it helps. And this kind of balances, because this right here, there might be five windmills, but if you look at this in a grouping scenario, we have that is a group, those two are gonna be a group, and then this one's on its own. So we technically still have three groups of windmills, even though this windmill is in its own group. Still three, still prime. Um, so that could be, that's a good way to do it. Grain silos would be cool. Yeah, we got a grain silo right down in here, which would be kind of fun. So we could build a few more in the valley. My idea here is that obviously like there's so much farming and produce happening here that we need like a milling operation to support it. So I thought windmills could be really fun. Um, that we could, where those guys are, we could turn that into a water mill there too, to get some power off of the mystical fountain coming down from the tree. Um, so there's always that. Hey, look, spoilers. Um, cause like, I'm going to keep filling up this place with more farms. This over here is where I'm kind of expanding more fields to next. Like this is all going to get filled in with fields. Um, and then I'm going to add a few more buildings here. I need to get rid of that cactus farm. It's ugly. There's no way I'm going to build that into a structure because that cactus farm is bigger than <laughs> this castle. Um, so I got to figure out how to tear that down in a decent way, but it's produced a decent amount of cactus. So that's, that's fine. I think it has. It sucks. Okay, we need to build a new one. <laughs> and we need to build one under somewhere that I actually work in this world. Oh, hi, buddy. You want to give me the sand? Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing a good job. One day, you'll get there. But make another mega tree? Yeah. One day. Maybe. No, I need to fix this mega tree before I build another one. I want to extend the branches out. Like, um... Talking big ideas wise for this world. I want to extend the branches of the tree from there about to like there and then back to this side, probably about that way. And then also front and back further out too. just the canopy right now is too small for like the width of the tree trunk. I went way too big on it. I meant to, I built it on the fly as I was going. So it was a little difficult to gauge proportions as I was doing it. And I didn't want to tear it down to be honest. So I meant to skinny the tree trunk up. Like I, I like this start here. And then I meant to skinny that up and have this be like there to about there, which went the proportions would have worked then. Um, but it just, I just didn't in here. Um, is there space to build up? Yes, that is world height. That, that upper dirt block, that's world height. Build them on a tulip farm to go full Dutch. There's uh over that way, there's a village. That village is right in a flower forest biome. And I kind of want to turn that into like big tulip fields. I think would be really fun. So that'll be a one day something. Because this guy right here, let's see. How much space do I have? I kind of want to do like a seven wide and then we do a five one and then that would be another five right so that would be like the width of the windmill 
And we could skinny it up. That's probably a good size. If I'm building five of them, we don't want them too chunky. And we could do like a little railing around the base, but maybe not because we want to have probably like an entrance built into the front. Yeah, that's going to be kind of where the windmill goes. And then we got to just do it five times over. You know Dutch words? No, I, I don't. Um, yeah, let's let's go take a look and see what we can design. Want them skinny and tall? Yeah, 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 probably. Where's this take us? Let me see. One second. Windmill. Let's look for windmills. Minecraft windmill. I love this. I've seen this so many times and I love it. Shovel Builds has been making some really cool stuff and it's been popping up all over. Um, but there's like that. Something like that scale could be cool. I almost want like a bigger blade, like a blade that stands out more than that though. Um, there's always this style here. That's a real classic one where you have the stone base, a little walkway around and then it goes in. I don't like the stick ones because they just don't give that wow factor. Hey, somebody took the wheel design I use. That one's mine. I designed that. I do like the birch trap door windmills. Those, I, that's probably what we'll end up doing is birch trap doors on the windmill itself. I just like that it gives it some depth. I kind of like the idea of a curve. Try to guess what this means. No, I will not. I refuse. And don't try and get me to pronounce words. I'm going to assume you're trying to get me to say something inappropriate, so I just will say no. Hey, there's that little boat sausage built in Empire Season 1. And then you see people do stuff like this. They're like, this is an easy tutorial for how to build this thing. Like, uh, homie, that's impossible in game. That's actually impossible. You have to be using a mod for that. <laughs> like, I swear, this is possible. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of cute. That'd look good in Jimmy's Tumble Town. That'd be, a, that'd be a good one for Tumble Town. It isn't inappropriate. Well, I said I'm just going to assume it is because I don't speak the language. Okay. I'm just kind of waiting for this to finish saving and then we'll ju go jump in. Okay. Actually, what I want to look at here real quick. Pleased to meet you. Timmy, thank you so much for becoming a member, my dude. I really appreciate that. Also, Psycho Miko, thank you so much for becoming a member earlier. I'm sorry if I missed that one. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, imagine if we had copper ladders. Would be cool. Okay. What did I use for the blade over here? I kind of want to do something like this, but rework it a touch. Like, this one's okay, but it's not my favorite. Okay, so I did do that. Old, My old school style. Okay, that's fine. Favorite Lord of the Rings character. I was always a Gimli fan when I was when I was a kid. Okay, uh, super fat. We go. Let's see what we can build something. Something like the thin fence-based windmill Pearl made on Empire Season One. Look good and tumble down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at my amazing build I made. Isn't it cool? Look at all these other amazing builds I made. Aren't they cool? This is my super flat world. This is where I do testing stuff. 
in the occasional build ideas video. Try a six blade windmill. I like the four blade ones. The six blade are cool, but there's just a little much. There's a windmill over here that I built a while ago. I know somewhere. Ah, I did make a six blade one. This is from hardcore season two. We could piggyback this idea. That is, that's actually the exact shape I need. Do we repurpose that? Because that's the exact shape I need. Because <laughs> then we just like break our way in here. I could reuse a build idea. I could reuse a build idea. I think we work on this. Also, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is an old idea I had. This is where I was concepting Empire Season 1. Or Season 2. Season 2 starter base right there. Came, came up with the tree. These are the colors I was gonna use. Never used either of those. That's where Season 1 starter, or Season 2 starter house came from. Needs to be taller. Yeah, yeah, we can make it a little taller. Go over here, copy. Let's go copy. Let's go out here. Windmill. Okay. Um, so step one, I think I want to ex bring this guy forward. What can we use for some stairs? I kind of want to make these a little coppery, a little techy. Almost like we've tried to make the dwarven influence come back above. I think we could bring that back in here. So get a little something like that. And then instead of the fences here, I think we got to do some logs. Uh, probably spruce will work. We're gonna see what we can come up with. I don't like these banners though. I'm gonna get rid of them. They were a cool idea when it was just an idea and then they did not work. They did not load in from far enough away where it ever mattered and then whenever they did load in, you're like already at the thing and I was like, oh, sad. Other side is a good track, it is, it's a bop. Something like that. I don't know. We're gonna rework all of this, probably. I think. from these I like the idea of having the six blade but we'll see if it actually pans out the six blade is unique it is it's a unique one uh, so there's this and then we did a slab this is a full block and this is a slab bam 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 right that that no slab kind of like I wish signs and banners didn't do that, dude. It would be so fun if you could use signs and banners from a long distance. I think that's something Minecraft needs to figure out. It would be very, very nice. Should be some oak in here. No, that I need to get rid of.
Okay, we've got it all here at least, which is fine. And then that, and then it's... it's doot, doot, doot. Okay. So this is a full block. Stair, stair. And then we reverse the stair. For some reason. I don't know why, but I did. And then I decided this was a good idea. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, just a shame the pick me is getting attention upon doing what? Longer blades, perhaps. I feel like then we're going to worry about hitting the ground, which is a big problem. We want to make sure there's clear enough space so that people can like walk in like a cart can come in and out without worrying about getting slapped on the back of the head by a windmill blade. But that could be. there yeah but over here we can extend the blade out maybe that kind of works kind of we can we can figure something out we'll we'll figure something out because maybe this can come back here get rid of these and that gives it a little bit more, but then that also does ruin the, the connected texture bit. Also, this could be here, and then... Oh no! Erner! And then this right in here definitely is going to be... One of those, sure. More texture in the cobblestone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> we'll get there, chat. We'll get there. Don't don't you worry. We'll get there. Baby steps. Baby steps. We're repurposing an old build, and we got to take it one step at a time. like that could kind of help baby steps though my friends baby steps one step at a time okay and then we're over here and we're basically flipping it all which was Literally just that, yeah. Okay, so this side needs to get bigger for sure. The oak trap door, blah, 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 blah. The oak trap doors here are basically for like a binding to make it look a little bit more supported. Yeah, so that kind of helps. Hey, for real. When you're building something, do you plan the rooms in as you're building or once the exterior is done? Uh, depends on the purpose of the build. If I'm building it for the interior, I build the interior first and then the exterior. Uh, if I just want to build to fit in the world, I do exterior. And then if there's space, I can figure it out on the interior. But Void Doctor, thank you so much for the donut, my dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, we definitely need some more lava on this build. That's for sure. We could start with like, that could help. Is 
Blades are rotating the wrong way. What? No, that's there. That's there. That's there. It would rotate this way. It'd go that way. They're all consistent. It's consistent. It works. Oh, hi, Doggo. Hi, Nova. She's in the door. Look at her. She's. Look at my puppy. She's adorable. Look at she's adorable. Yeah, you're adorable. Do you want to come up? Yeah, you want to come up and say hello? Say hello? Hi, Rose. How are you doing? Are you okay today? How's your day going? Are you having a good day? Yeah, are you having a good day? Yes, hello. Yeah. Very good day, very stressful. Lots of lots of watching to be doing. Making sure the house is protect. Also protecting the house. How are you doing today? Yeah, I, my hands are up here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? My hands are up here. Oh my gosh, hello. See yourself on the computer and you're like, I'm shy. I'm shy. Oh no, I'm shy. Mm. It's a very big day, huh? She's a little on edge. Her mom's gone. Her mom's gone. She's working into office today. Nova's all alone. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Can you what? Anytime I like take my hands off her, she's like, what the heck? I thought I was getting the revs. What the heck? Yeah, okay, it's okay. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You're a hairy mess, but you're a good girl. Yeah. Do you want to say anything to the internet? The, the, the mic is yours. Would you like to say anything? Do you want to say anything? Ah, uh, well, well. Our Arf, arf. Arf. Arf, arf, arf. Normally I can get her going. <laughs> oh, you're so pleasant. So cute and so pleasant. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Minecraft now. She's like, um, hello, hello, I'm here. Where's Coda? He's probably sleeping in my bed, to be honest. She's like, yeah, you know I'm shy. I'm very timid. I'm very timid, little Malamute. I'm very scared. Okay. Uh, boop. I'm trying to make sure anything I do to one side, I'm mimicking to the other. But there's our little Nova break for the day. Like, from a distance... This is kind of like the distance we'd be seeing it at. Do we like the six blades? Also, I think that's a little sharp. Like that's sharp. It needs to get smoothed out a touch. I think the six blades can work. They're just so busy. Maybe here we do like a this. Not a fan of the six blades. It's a bit busy. Yeah, I think we need to go too high scaled on this for it to be there. Let's design one with four and see what happens. So let's go. Why did I just hear something crash in my house? The dogs are up to something. Six blades was the thought, but yeah. The base works though. The base, like the tower itself, I think will be fine. One second. Secret ring security camera downstairs. I can see what the dogs are doing. <laughs> the 
No, it's just running around downstairs. She's just she's just zooming. She's having the time of her life right now. Yeah, we'll change up the roof. I'm not a big fan of this one. It's old. It's an old build. It needs some love. Like for one, I already have this inventory, but I want to do something like this. It's just the blade is the most important part, and then the structure comes after. Like, if the blade looks stupid, the whole thing's going to look dumb, because that's the main point of it. Um, cause, So for here, we need to have that. Is... This box, please. I just like this detail too much to not use it. So I'm going to use it. second i'll be right back there's a lot of husky zoomings happen happening i'll be right back chat one second Okay, we are back. I gotta get my blankie. It's cold here. It's very cold. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bring live keep Ring camera live feed would be cool. No, I don't want y'all seeing that part of my house. <laughs> If I didn't have to worry about creepy people on the internet, we potentially, but people on the internet be creepy. Okay, so we do this. That's kind of a base shape we can do. And then we kind of need to... Oh, but I can't do that here. So maybe we do these. Yeah, we have to only use stairs and trapdoors. Slabs will not work. to start and then maybe we do like another one here it's helping we hold our wholeheartedly respect your privacy yeah yeah no, i i do appreciate it y'all are uh not super nosy i've been in some friends chats and uh they've had where they just like the community is relentless in trying to figure out information about them. And I'm like, please, no, 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 never. I kind of like that. The little, like, little arm at the end. Kind of fun. Kind of fun. And any. Is 
That would be there. Should be going up. Okay. Because that would mean at the lowest point, the blade is coming like roughly right here, which is in the way, but I think it's fine. I think it's okay. Actually, I guess this would be probably That's a, yeah, that, so that'd be sure. That'd be sure. <laughs> I don't know. If I can not fall. <laughs> ah! From here it'd be bam. Thicken up this section here in the back a touch more, I think. But no, I don't like that. Uh, maybe. Could work. I feel like it needs to be up there. So maybe we need to do like another little two out. That's gonna. Gonna bother me. Connected textures on burst trap doors would be weird. So we could do this guy and then bam, bam. Then we incorporate that stair into it. It's a little bit of a lip around it. Yeah, that kind of works. That kind of works. I like the bit of wonk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so we want to go up here too, and then we're going to go continue this up. And then here we go another... T ah. <laughs> Pain! Okay. Um, sure. So we did that as is, that's fine. Cause it's gonna be seen if you think about it from up on a hill. So it's mostly at this angle. The one thing we are missing right now is the ability. Yeah, I like this a lot more than the six blade, like between those two. What do you think chat? One, two, one, two. I think we can maybe do a little fancy thing at the end. That could be kind of fun. Three. Okay, thanks, Dylan. Thanks. Thanks, Dylan. <laughs> Vince. Let's try this. This will kind of like weirdly square it off, but I think it could work. It's not quite a full block. Why do I kind of like that? No, actually I don't. Never mind. I hate that. It sucks. 
it's not good. It's not not good. We tried it. It did not work. Maybe we get rid of that. Uh, I was trying to fix that trap door sticking out, but I just don't think we need it. Four is cleaner, but six is more unique. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes unique isn't the best, you know? Sometimes you not being... Sometimes the original in the OG method is still the way to go. You can, uniqueness for the sake of uniqueness isn't always your best option. That's the... It's always good to try. That's good. There we go. That'll work. That looks, that looks okay. One thing we could try... Which would be... Let's copy this guy real quick, because I don't want to mess this up. There we go. Oak. Here, we can do this, and then we can just grab ourselves a copy tool. Oop. Rolled at it. Oh, wee. Kind of cool. The birch makes, I think at a bigger scale that would work. Like if the windmill blade was like two or three birch trap doors thicker and just larger, I think it would work, but I'm not I'm not feeling it here. But maybe flip them. Uh because I wanted to have like the ability for like air to go through the edge. Oh, I messed it up. That's fine. Cause this could give that like I want it to almost feel like it's like fading out at the end. So maybe we just do like the very end. Yeah. Maybe one more down. One more in. Wait, I like that. That looks really good. I think that's a keeper. I think that right there is the, the winner. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Two is still a go. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. But I'm trying to be a little... Some, we said... Somebody said to uh, go more unique, right? So we're trying to go more unique. I want to see if this would look better. Ooh, I do kind of like that. Mixed trap door looks great. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. But what if I did like a... Does that look too thick? It's a little thick. So that would be... Actually, maybe it's not. Maybe it's what we need. Maybe we need a little bit of a thick boy over here. That? I think we're onto a winner here, chat. I think we're onto a winner with this one. I think this windmill blade moves on to the next round. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna change up the roof. We've only been working on the blade so far. 
Trap doors instead of stairs, just it still gets that blocking it. Eggs, I don't want to know where you got that reference from. Okay, so the acacia here. What can we use? What could we use? What could we use? Do we want to go deep slate? We could do a cobble deep slate. That could work. Or we could go with like a dark prismarine as a new thing, but cobble deep slate would be on theme. We can try mangrove. We'll, we'll give mangrove a shot here. If we hate it, we move on. Super speed build mode. I know it's a little dumb, but I also do really like the idea that like the blade is the tallest part. So like that this, I think we might elongate that up just a touch and give it some more flair, but I kind of want to, I guess the blade is only like a block taller as is. So maybe not, maybe not, maybe we don't do that. I got I got an idea though. I've been really in, into the split roofs recently for like the toppers. Is this for Goblin? No, this is for the hardcore world. I've been really wanting to add in a bunch of windmills. We did recently build a windmill in, in Goblin, though. That is dash a true statement. Step one, mangrove does work better. Mangrove works better in the back. That is for sure true. Maybe what we can also do is change up this from here going into... Actually, I kind of like the note blocks, but let's change the rest to oak. And then I also need uh, the mangrove trapdoors. Name of the song, it's called Scourge of the Universe. It's uh tale the tale of a cruel world. I think it's it's a soundtrack for a game I do not recognize. Calamity original game soundtrack from a game called Calamity. There you go. Okay, this needs a little bit more support to it. What can we do in here? works we'll leave it for now now we just go through and replace it all Because now the blade should pop a lot more. Yeah, that's working a lot. That's working a lot better. Also, previously I've done so many windows in this thing, and I don't think those are needed anymore. So we can get rid of those. I do kind of like that sticking up to the top here. 
Why a stone windmill and not a wooden one? Just for fun. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We're just playing it by ear right now. We haven't touched the base yet. The base is still a copy of an old one I made. Um, let's try... Not coppers. Hoppers. Oh, I saw this recently. And I fell in love with it. It's too fancy for here. But if you want the tiniest of archways... Look at that. Look at how perfect this is. I saw this detail recently, and I, I'm amazed. I'm absolutely blown away by it. I love it. Absolutely love it. From like the little fence into that to the cauldron being a little whoop. It's so good. If you ever need a way to like do a little arch, it's perfect. It's my favorite thing I've ever found. Keep it real. Hey, we're getting the cobblestone chat. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. We'll get there. It's kind of think of something like this. But then we do like a little boop, boop, boop. I think we changed the spruce to dark oak, though, to be honest. No, we're getting a little Neapolitan. It's a little too Neapolitan for me. Dark Prismarine up top. That's going to contrast too much with everything we got going on down here. I'll be honest, the mangrove isn't my favorite. Wall. There you go. There's a name for a city you can build. So we have something like this. Crimson instead. Try birch slabs. Yeah, birch could work. Be a little bright though. This is currently feeling like every type of wood you could ever need. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I like the idea though. I'm liking the idea right now. Pleased to meet you. Sarcasm with a smile. Thanks so much for the four months. Just popping in to say hi. I just got home from school. Have a great day. Hey, you as well. Hope you hope you have a good one. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate you stopping in. And then here we can do another little trap door. Kind of okay with this. Yeah, I kind of want to try Cobble Deep Slate instead of the Mangrove, to be honest. And then we also get access to walls, which will be fun. Sorry, chat. I, th I think uh, we'll, we'll oh, here. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We'll copy this. We'll do a copy. stack okay so we got this we have the original right there and then we can rework this one
Except I think this will look a little bit better. Base looks too thick, at least in my opinion. Y'all, we haven't touched that yet. Y'all are down here being like, the base is awful. I haven't even built on it yet. I haven't even thought about it. Get there when we get there, okay? Building's a process. I think we change these back to spruce. Is that this will be very on brand for what I already have in the world. Yeah, we're gonna change that. Don't worry, it's gonna smooth out. It's kind of leaning towards using some basalt or some mud or something. Get trapdoors. This might be a little too tall, but see, I, I think I like this better. I know it's a little bit taller, but I kind of like it. it's it's a little too thick on top. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah a, little, a little too thick, a little too chunky. Maybe we start this down here. bring it down a block and for that one we're gonna get a deep slate polished wow for right here Gotham vibes oh, a, little bit, a little bit love it I think that one's looking pretty good what are you making a windmill attempting attempting to make one Copper rod on top. Yeah, we could do a lightning rod. What do you think about doing this outer trim line here as spruce? The style that I very much used throughout the world has been like a spruce trim on everything in starter land. So if we spruce trim this. We're missing a few of those trap doors over there. I'll fix that in a second. Oh. 
I like that. I think that looks nice. Starter land. I can't really say starter house or base anymore. It's just starter land. There's so much happening. There's, uh, there's no way. It looks better. I think it looks more put together. Which is good. Now this in here, I want to use the note blocks, but I don't think they're going to work. And I'm cheap. So, I think barrels will lighten it up. It does. It does lighten it up a little bit. Perfect. Put lightning rod upside down. See, I normally do that, but then it's just like such a pain to place in. You have to go up here, do that one, and that one, and then. So I've just kind of gotten lazy and started doing this like that, <laughs> like that. Could get the cauldron arches in. We can try it. That makes the walls not connect though, which is a problem. Yeah, that. Uh, I like the idea in theory. But I don't think it's going to work because the walls don't connect. And walls connecting is importante. Yeah, I think this is our... That's the top I like. Would it emphasize the darker oak? Um, I Like right here, it, I just need a, I need a transition between that to that. And that was too much. It was just a little stark. A little too much for me. What we could do, though, is a few mangrove leaves. Because I have thousands of these. I think I want to get rid of this, because that's going to be just looking back into the mountain. So the back can be blank. And on this side... Uh, we can do a little. Let's mess with the build even more. Even more than ever before seen. Whip will further destroy his build. Where I'll ha I'll just change this up as I'm building the thing. <clears throat> but it's like a a little thing gets moving up. Like we got space for something to be going up and down. A hoisting system. The hoisting system is usually inside. Well, so the concept here would be like we're coming in here. This is the milling mechanism. Then down in the center right there is where it goes down. So this is mostly just like a, uh, we'd have to design an interior, which we could do, but that'll be it for like after I build them in the world. Cause I guarantee I won't be inspired to do that. Cause then that would be coming down here. Like boop, 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 boop. And you have like a milling chamber in there. So you just kind of toss the grain in, get rid of it. And I did two thick walls in here for some reason. Kind of liking the idea of using mud. Actually.
How much space do I have before it gets like? Thank you kindly. I'll go. Good. I'm not working today, so I get to see your stream. Yeah. Congrats on traveling to Hermitcraft. The Rift storyline has been so much fun for me to watch. All of you did such a great job with telling the story. Hey, Alex, I'm so glad you have enjoyed it so much. Thank you so much for the dono and enjoy the day off, my friend. Yeah, it's been a... It's been an interesting storyline to do. It's been it's been a bit it's been a challenge for sure, but I've been enjoying it. It's been a fun one. I know it's squishy. I've had more conversations about this with Scar since I've gotten to know him through the Hermitcraft collab than is probably healthy for normal conversation about <laughs> he's just like if you're not using mud you're missing out on the best block in the entire game and I'm like okay Scar <laughs> so every time now I, I keep thinking about him I'm like all right I every time I'm building something I'm like could I put mud in here the dude is obsessed and I, I can realistically say obsessed with the mud block right now. Not packed mud. He actually hates packed mud from what I've learned. Okay, so that's going to be kind of a flatter front because reason. Or, honestly, let's just take this in to be flat all the way around. Doot, doot, boop, boop. That'll do. Sorry, quick world editing stuff to fix it all up. And that would be five to here. So you you do need to go back. Because this could be here, but we just put walls. And I kind of want to do the... So I think it would be kind of fun to do something like this. Where then we bring it back in. But then we have like a, almost like a, a lip going around. Give me a sec here. I've, I've got an idea. I've got an idea, chat. It might happen. Maybe a little taller. We could move all of it up one. One block taller could work. What do we think about that? Just move everything up here up one. Let's try that. We have lifted. Because that gives us the headroom down below too. So that, that actually, I, I do like that idea. Good idea. And then somebody set a slab here in the corner. A sprucey slab. Thank you kindly. I was checking the time. How's it almost 1 p.m. already? Whew, it's getting late. Alex, thanks so much for the dono again. Maybe do stairs on top of the mud and deep slate tiles. Yeah, we're gonna do, oh, on top of that. I, I, I really like the clean line, to be honest. I really like the clean just cut. Um, but what I'm thinking up here,
Stone, packed, mud. So that kind of plays into hero touch. But then to get some more flavor into it, we bring in Grand Mushroom Block. Actually, I need to copy just a plain one because otherwise it'll get funky. Nope, undo. <laughs> undo. Something like that could kind of work. And then here on the sides. We can add a little windowy thing. Which will thicken it up. Because right now it got a little skinny. Got a little tiny bit skinny. So if we do this. We do bam bam trapdoors. Or we can't fire the top. Then I need a different shovel. Actually, then we can just copy this one. Around. And maybe a different trapdoor in the middle. I don't just near. Boop, 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 boop. Mud base one block taller, please. No, I kind of like it as is. I, re I really like the three block on it because otherwise it'll be too, too short. Because I want a trap door that can be kind of like a window, but like the oak is a little blending in too much. Acacia might work. Or maybe we can try jungle. It's a little much. A little orange pop in here. Uh, what about for actual windows? Throw in mangrove trap doors to merge with the roof. Uh, we got rid of the mangrove. We're on a deep slate now for the roof. We are on windmill iteration seven. <laughs> eight. Maybe eight. Oh, excuse me. So one thing we could try is up here at the top. All good, all good. Instead of ending with the mushroom, we transition into a little bit of terracotta for some warmth. Yay or nay on terracotta? It blends to the spruce pretty well, but I think we want that contrast in there. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. It's too much. It's too much. Yay. Oh, yay. Lots of yays. I also think these oak trap doors can be changed. Oh, uh, speaking of change. These need to be swapped. Yeah, a little like that kind of works. You never, I never see you as any as the blue warp wood. I've been trying to use warp wood a lot. I tested out that roof a while ago and did that. That's kind of, it's saved for a future build. Um, so the way I'm doing the city is everything is in terms of neighborhoods. And the current neighborhood is very warm tone. So I think the next neighborhood is going to be kind of a reverse or I might go to purples. Uh, 
Uh, but I'm still trying to figure that out. What the next one is be. I haven't even started planning it yet. But I know each neighborhood I do is going to be a color theme. I kind of like. I'm kind of digging this chat. Because we'll have some foliage and things around it. There'll be some little fields and some like leafy things. Base feels too thick. It's because it's such a stark dark to everything else is why it feels very thick. But once we start coming back in, like we'll have some like, once I get into the detail phase, we'll have some like oak leaves around it like this. A little like, of course. Like, we're going to have a whole thing like this in here. Mud. Like, it'll... It's just because it's very stark, but I think once it blends, like, you're barely seeing it in there, and we're going to... Think about all the tall grass and leaves and flowers and everything up to it. It'll, it'll help a lot. There's nothing left of the first windmill. Yeah, I, the, the idea of the first windmill is there. Yeah. Where we started today <laughs> was this guy. We started at this here today. And now we have moved through the stages. To this. <laughs> okay. Much different. You're right. Use dripstone instead of terracotta. I think it'd be too rough. The texture of dripstone is very textured. I think it'd be a little too much. I kind of want to try though. So do like a little like inch some of this up yeah I like that okay that'll work I'm just gonna fiddle with this forever uh let's try some one thing I do want to try I like that more and they're easier to craft so that's cool so the idea is I have to build six of these <laughs> so that's why I'm not like super detailing I'm not I'm not gonna hyper detail all of them because I need to build six of them and if we hyper detail them then it looks more repetitive than a base one and then I come back in after and add more stuff because like if you think about it we'll need like a little pathway over here for like a wagon or a cart or something to then like we have our main road along here going whoopity woo so like we already have this pathway over here which will be on some of them we'll have that other ones probably won't have that bit maybe they'll have like a we could build versions because all we've got is the windows over here. But another one, we could have like a little ladder you could climb up or something over here. Yeah, let's see. Aha! Nope. So let's get rid of these because I don't want to build those into the world. I'll add them in later as I do. Try jungle wood instead of terracotta. Yeah, that could be an option. Okay, so if we close this off. There 
gosh. Place blocks. Um. Actually, that would come down here. Then this one can actually have a window. I guess these little trapdoors on the cor corner don't need to be here. So I can get rid of them. I can clean that up. There's no windows there anymore, so they're not needed. But we could instead bring a little fence down. No, too much. Yeah, I like that. That works. But here can have a little window. And then for this, something at bam, bam, boop, boop, boop. And I want to have a spruce stair. And then here we can take oak trap doors, bring it all the way down so it's just a little less thick. back up top and then up here at the top we can take some maybe jungle I don't know this could work Yeah, so that can be one variation. We can have that guy. We can have this one. So they're just slightly different. It doesn't change things up too much. But it's enough to where you can tell from a distance. They're going to be uh, looking functional. Yeah, I like that. I think that's actually a really good way to go about it. You could also rotate the entrance of the windmill. So I'm thinking that'll be static. But we could. We could, potentially. Um, depend. I think I'll rotate it depending on the easiest way to get in from the road. Um, you can fall into the composter and balcony. Add carpet. True, true, true. That's not carpet. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to use this. I might do a short. That'd be kind of fun. I'll do a short of, we started here. We went here. Bam, bam, bam. Final versions. That might be a fun building short. We'll see. Sure. I'll look into that later. Does creative mode tell you how many blocks you need of each thing? Uh, you can use Lightmatica for that. Sure, I'll save this. Tree time lapse. Final version of Hardcore World. Dude, you're onto it. You're onto something. But for those who weren't here when we before we started designing that thing, the idea is we're gonna have all those prismarine pillars is gonna be where we have windmills. So five windmills in total, and they're just gonna be over here. So like we'll do one there, one there, one up there, one down there, and then a final fifth one here. So maybe the entrance to the side of that one will be there, so we can have the road snaking back up like that. This guy'll be the front on one like poster child that we designed. This one could be the one with the ladder so they can have like a little workstation between and maybe a shed behind. This guy up here probably just won't have any access to the top so we can have just a little pathway down there for a cart to get in and this one's right on the road. So that'd be cool once all those get in. That's gonna be a big build. 
That's gonna be a fun build. That's actually not too many blocks though, if we look at it. So that's that's fun. Gonna need a lot of wheat fields. Actually, I can show you. I can show you. You could possibly do one taken over by nature. Maybe, maybe. I mean, like, we got wheat, 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 big wheat. And then I, I'll probably do more wheat fields over here. And the plan is to eventually go across that way too and connect in the road over there where we have more fields so you can see like the sunflowers. And I want to do more fields and slowly working off into like tulip fields and things. But we got space for another field or two in there. These ones are the villager fields. So they're actually the technically thing. We got space for something. I'm kind of thinking some like orchards almost, or maybe like a mini vineyard for like the steeper sections, kind of like I did here. I like the vineyard idea. Also, I need to get some coarse dirt in there. What was I thinking? That's like a episode two or episode three. It was whenever I built that thing. I did the vineyard for the field in that episode. We see the monolith? <gasps> monolith. It'll be out in the video coming on Friday, probably. I'm assuming Friday, uh, which will be super cool. But I'll tell you what, folks, it is one o'clock and I am hungry. Monolith spoilers. What have I said? Second spoilers. Look at that tower. I love that. Oh, I can't wait for y'all to see that build. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. It's a good one. It's one of my favorite. But my friends, that's going to do it for today's stream. Hardcore land looks like Civ 6. It's a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I got to get, I got to finish a lot of projects in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go make some food, get some stuff done, and then uh, try and probably get back into recording or I might play WoW. You never know. We'll see. <laughs> Thank y'all so very much for being here. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Double check down there. If you don't want to miss streams in the future, ring the bell, turn it on. Um, subscribe to FWIP2 if you haven't already. There's going to be a few extra videos coming out over there before the end of the year. And it should be really fun. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day. But I'm out of here for now. So I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye.